got you have more on the uh, in the last week. Nah, nah, never mind that. Get Matthews 13 and 13, bro. Good shot. You got certain notes? I just want to say, man, these, these people that handed out this book, they were, um, these people, that, these people that handed out this book were uh, Seven Day Adventists over there. And they're trying to say that the Mark of the Beast is, um, is uh, worshiping on Sunday instead of worshiping on Saturday. But, and they got this whole book, what was it, it's over, it's over 200 pages trying to prove that but all you have to do is go to the scripture where it says that you uh you're gonna have a uh, mark to put something in your right hand or your forehead you go into the you go into the greek it says karagma a thing implanted in, in decision you don't gotta have a whole nother book this could be not just read if they speak not according to this book is because they're not there's no light in them Fine. So you gotta have a whole nother book to explain what the book is saying that's how you know you guys are clowns, man. And that's how you know that there's no light in these people, man. They set up by the same people they're trying to t try to say that is the uh, the, the false uh, the first the false uh, uh, prophet, which is the uh, Roman Catholicism. They're set up by them too, man. They're just an umbrella. They're just a branch off of the Roman Catholic Church, man. The scripture tells you what the mark is, and the Lord said what in, um, in Amos three and seven. Man, you can get that that he will he will show he reveal his secrets to the servants, the prophets. Fine. You got women out here trying to uh, pass out books. They don't know what they they gonna end up taking the mark, man. They gonna end up taking the mark of the beast because they they passing by the true knowledge, the true Holy Spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh breaking down through the scriptures what the mark of the beast is, man. And that's how you know we're in these end times because you got this coming out. You got this devil trying to tell everybody else, our people, that what what the mark isn't. So when the when the devil comes with the real mark, they gonna think the mark of the beast was worshiping on Sunday. That's how stupid our people are, man. And they pass by the real men of the Lord teaching us, teaching the truth. But hey, that's why we said we only out here for the elect, man. We only out here for the true, the chosen people that's going to hear the word of the, the, the voice of Yahweh Shai. That's right. One more time, brother. What did you say that they said that the mark is? The mark is worshiping. In church on Sundays. Worshiping in church on Sunday. Bring out the Revelation 13 and 16. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that has a mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred and three score and six. Okay. And so that no man might be able to buy or sell to save he had the mark uh, or the image of the beast or his name. The name is six hundred and three score six, and those are digital codes. You got that right here? It's a digital code. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the water, brother. Those are digital codes, okay? You got the barcode, right? Which was uh, the first digital system, okay, for scanning shit. That's gonna be incorporated digitally inside the chip, okay? Uh, you also got, got uh, in the, the mark, like the brother said in the Greek, is, is karagma, which is to cut. So the mark has to be cut, uh, be inserted in the flesh, you know? Or, or, or the image of his name, because you also got the chip that's inserted in the flesh, but you also got the chip that's also coming out. They're like tattoos, okay? That's also unacceptable, all right? You get that shit too, you're gonna be destroyed, man. There ain't no fucking with none of that shit. And that no man might buy or sell save he had the mark, okay? How the hell can you not or can you buy or sell worshiping on Sunday? So how the hell is that the mark of the beast? That shit makes no sense, man. If I if I would if I were to go worship on Sunday, I'll still be able to buy or sell. If I did not worship on Sunday, I'll still be able to buy or sell. So how the hell does that make sense? Go ahead, bro. You was gonna say something? This book is written by Edomite bitch, by the way. <laughs> Her name is E E G White, Ellen Gold uh, White. So, and then what do you got? Simple Jake, women following after Esau, just like how Eve was doing, doing his doing his bit, man. Doing, doing his dirty work, man. That's why, yo, you women, man, y'all, the scripture says, man, to rise up, you careless women that are at ease, man. Y'all out here just being folly, being in this, being in, in these, in these philosophies, and then you're gonna get caught up right along with this devil, right along with the wrath that this devil has for this place, man. Cause you out here, a, a blind leading the blind, man. Causing our people to go astray.
Khan. Get that Amos 3 and 7, Brother Bishai. <clears throat> this is Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Right, and that that's that that has been since the beginning, man. Alright? Did not the Lord tell Noah what he was gonna do? And then before he flooded the earth, he had Noah prophesying for what was it, about 120 years? Uh -huh. So like, you know, right? And, and he was prophesying, he revealed his secret unto his servant, the prophets. Noah was a prophet. Noah was a servant of the Lord. He did, as the Most High said. He went out and he did it. He built the ark, and then the Lord flooded it, all right? Same thing with Abraham, same thing with Jacob, same thing with Joshua, same thing with uh, all of them, man. Every single prophet down the line, Isaiah, Daniel, Ezekiel, Nahum, uh, 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 you name it. Yeah. Every single one of them. He told them what was going to happen. The prophets went out to prophesy because uh, that's the Lord speaks. Matter of fact, get uh, St. Luke 1 and 68. Um, and you was going to get something, brother. Go it's ahead. Deuteronomy 29, verse 29. It says, The secret things belong unto Yahweh our power, but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever that that we may do all the words of this law. So this devil bitch, all right, E.G. E. White, she's not a child of, of, of Israel, man. So how does she gonna know what the mark of the beast is? That's a secret thing that was only revealed to the men of Israel, the prophets, okay? What you are seeing right now, whether you wanna believe it or not, whether you hear or forbid, we, we can tell you what the mark is, man, what the mark of the beast is. It's like how the brother said, the prophets, the Lord always talk through the prophets, man. There's nothing new underneath the earth. We're in the last days. Why would the Lord not set up men to come out here and speak his word when he's been doing it all through our history, man? You guys, you people need to wake up, man. That's right, I just said this. That's the spirit, man. Let's bring that out, brother. This is Job chapter 39, verse 17. Uh, just to kind of talk about, you know, the, the foolishness of the woman. Because God hath deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding. Right. Go ahead, go ahead, now go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Now I was just going to say, so just to go to that mark of the beast point, how the fuck is that wisdom or how is that understanding when clearly Revelations 13 and 16 tells you something otherwise? So that just tells you she not in her right mind. Right, right. And the woman is the weaker vessel, man. I mean, you're going to have women... You know what I'm saying? That a sincere going to follow after the Lord's heart. We know a few. You know, but for the most part, man, I mean, look at what they're doing. They're not even bringing you the word, okay? They did what was said in Revelation, in the last chapter of Revelation. Whoever adds or take away from the word, Kind. right? They shall be added to dumb the plagues that is written of in this book, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? They handing out pamphlets. They handing out books with false doctrines. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They ain't preaching out of the Bible, man. They're just walking up and down the street, right, in their skirts because they know they're supposed to be wearing skirts. And the scriptures say, hit the highways and byways, right? So they're hitting the highways and byways. But it's not according to the law and to the testimony, man. That's it's not, right. It's not according to what's written. It's not according to knowledge of true doctrine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on top of that, you're leading the sheep astray. But hey, it's like the scripture says, if the, lie, if the blind lead the blind, they shall both fall into the ditch. That's right. Okay? Um, <sighs> bring, go ahead. Is that something else? Yeah, I was just going to say, so Romans chapter 10 and 2, just to add to that. Uh, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Right, and that's, mo that's most of our people, man. Most of our people believe in God. Most of our people, or they think they do, they pray to God, they pray to Jesus. You know, they got some form of spiritual connection they feel, right, because it's in us. All right, but it's not according to knowledge, you know, so they do stupid things. Like fuck another man's wife, still eating pork. You know, um, all kinds of wickedness, you know, or women bucking up against their man. You know, all kinds of shit, man. Everything is backwards, you know. So that goes without saying. Um, bring out that St. Luke, Bubba Kashai. It says, Go, question, oh, wait, wait, wait. it says, uh, there are seven days in a week. Which day is the Sabbath day? The seventh day is the Sabbath day uh, of the Lord power, which is true, right? But it don't tell you which day. How do you how do you determine what day of the week 
is a, is the seventh day. Because they're going off of what? The Julian, the Julian calendar, man. They're saying, oh, well, if the first day of the week is Sunday, then how much means the seventh day is Saturday? So you're following, you're trying to tell people that the seventh day is, is the seventh day is the uh, Sabbath day, which is true, but now you're not breaking down then what day is the seventh day? How do you determine what day is the seventh day? You're going off of Esau's calendar. You're reading out of a Hebrew book, but you're going off of Esau's calendar. That doesn't make any sense, man. You're going off the so-called white man's calendar. These people, man, yo, this shit gets you mad, man. Because our people out here just eating up this shit, man. You know how people will, be, will, will love to sit down and talk to these seven-day Adventists and then eat up all, all their doctrines, but when we come out here with the truth, they don't want to hear it, man. That's why the scripture says in, in, in uh, John, the, the, the third chapter, it says that what? The, the, the darkness hates the light, man. So they'll, they'll walk by this because they hate the truth. Right, because there ain't no, there ain't, see in the scriptures, uh, the months are named, but there ain't no names, the third chapter, there ain't no names for days, all right? Uh, Sunday through Saturday ain't in the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? It's like 17 or 18. There ain't no names for days, so the, the, the days of, uh, of the, uh, the, whatever day it is, is calculated through the moon cycle. That's right. The lunar cycle. Get that, uh, uh, you want him to bring out a scripture? Yeah, in John uh, 3, and around like uh, 18. Right. Uh -huh. Here, read it. So John chapter 3 verse 18 He that believeth on him is not condemned But he that believeth not is condemned already Because he have not believed in the name Of the only begotten son and of God Keep going Hey, and that goes, that's a cut to you, these other Israelite uh, False Israelite camps That saying that the name don't matter It says you're already condemned Because you don't believe on the name of the only begotten son Not Jesus Alright, his, his name is Yahweh Shai, man Go ahead. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light. There you go. Because their deeds were evil. Men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil, man. This right here has no light in it. This shit is garbage, man. That's right. <laughs> but they love evil, man. Our people love evil. The scripture says that our, uh, the, the prophets prophesied uh, deceitfully, and our people love to have it so, man. Right. You people love to have. You telling you us uh, move things, telling you oh you can eat whatever you want. God did away with the law. Jesus came in and, and fulfilled the law, which means He did away with it. That's evil, man. Say no, oh, oh Jolo, do whatever you want. That's evil. But because you're dark, because you are darkness, you're living in darkness. You rather you rather keep doing that instead of coming to the light, man. Which is the scriptures, all right? Which is being prophesied through the holy through the through the holy prophets of the Lord, man. That the Lord set up. Go ahead. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light lest his deeds should be reproved. And that's why they hate us, man, because they're doing evil. And they don't want to see the light, because what happens when you turn a light on in a, a roach infested uh, spot, man? All the roaches scatter, man. They don't want to be around it. They hate the light. And that's, what, and that's why they hate when we come out here, because it's, it's we're that light that's, that's a, a blasting, shining on their wickedness, man. Talking about the the our, our people, they hate the fact that we come out here week in and week out. They hate the fact that we out pushing these videos throughout the unicorn. That's why they setting up these uh, uh, uh these agents, these uh, BHI terrorist watch, and 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 all these other all these other wacko dudes that that's coming up trying to uh, discredit the man of the Lord because we're showing you your evil deeds, which is really Yahweh Shai doing it. And Yahweh Shai said, if you hate me, if they hate you, they hate me, and if they hate me, they hate the heavenly Father, man. So you got a problem with the you got a problem with the Almighty, man. And y'all always had a problem with him. And he gonna come and see you. We're gonna come and check you. You gonna see, you said you got a problem with him. Alright, well let's see what you're gonna do about that problem. And the Lord say ain't nothing gonna stand in that day, man. Go ahead. But he that doeth truth come cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought in God. That's right, man. Go ahead, get your, get your preset. Well, this is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 9. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, 
speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. That's right. They're not saying oh, that to the, these uh, these churches and these, these pastors in the churches. They're not telling him to uh, 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 prophesy to us smooth things because he's already doing it. They saying to us, oh, why don't you guys talk about love? You guys are always talking about hate. And what we're really doing, we're talking about love, actually, man. Right. We're showing you the way to salvation. But because it's not coming out as smooth as uh, a butter, then you got a problem with it, man. And you still, even if we came out and, st and said it how you want to say, you still want to accept it. Because the words that we're saying doesn't change, man. The words that we're saying doesn't change. And that's what you really hate. You really hate the fact of what we're saying. Not how we're saying it. You hate the fact that we're telling you, we're showing you your transgressions. Because you don't want to see them. You want to just say, oh, you know what? Only God can judge me. Oh, you know what? Well, we all got problems. Yeah, we all do got we all do got wickedness. But what? The Lord said it get right, man, to seek after him. But you don't want to do that. Yeah, because they'll do that shit just to keep being wicked. Exactly. I was just telling the brother that. Mr. Oh, we're all 